Okay, welcome to this screen recording by Ricky Lee. And I'm recording this uh, so I can remember how to do a, a line on Adobe Illustrator CS6. So I have my artboard, which is a uh, I'm going to click at the right side here, clicking on the artboard tool at the right, right middle side of the left of the screen. So, this is my artboard, and at the top right of the screen, you will see the width is 29.7 and 20 by 21 centimeter high. I'm going to click on selection tool to get out of the artboard uh, parameters. And as you can see, my layers panel is here. And if you don't have it, you can click at the top middle uh, on the window tab and come down and select layers. And then you will have this. So I have an outer perimeter, as you can see by the blue mark on around my artboard. Uh, there is a path with a red stroke. And then I have an inner perimeter. Uh, rectangle so I use these two uh, for on my artboard because I send my work to the printer so today I need to divide this artboard into three equal parts so how do we do that so first I need my ruler make sure your ruler is on mine's already on so as you can see it's right here and I want to make sure my guides are, is not check lock. If there is lock guides check, please check it. Click it again to uncheck it, to unlock it. So I click outside the board, and I need to go ahead and bring out one, two. Uh, first, I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to divide. Uh, my workspace into three equal parts. It's very easy to divide it into two equal parts. So I'm going to select one of the guys and delete it. So now I have one guy. I'm going to click on that. Now the guy's blue to show that I'm working with it. And on the layers panel, there's a blue square next to uh, the circle on the right of the layers panel to show that I have the selection is made and I can move it around. So I'm going to open up view, window, align to see it. So we're going to go ahead and take my selection align option to align to artboard and with my uh, guide already selected I'm going to choose horizontal align center so on the horizontal line if I drew it at the center of that I want to align to the artboard so there it is in the middle so if I wanted the artboard to be divided into two equal parts there it is but I want it to be divided into three equal parts so I'm going to bring out one more and bring out one more so here I have three okay but before I do three what if I just wanted to divide the left section into two equal parts? So to do that, I need to go ahead and open the layers panel because I need to select both of my guides. Okay. And if I select both guides and then I say uh, align to the artboard, but uh, align it horizontal align left the click like that it's on the outside perimeter which is that's not what I want I want it to begin uh, on the inside which is the gutter I left one centimeter all around and I must work within what is left so I need to go ahead and select the inside perim perimeter rectangle so from there I need to click on a line and then select a line to selection and then click a line horizontal line left when I click that 
Um, okay, that's not what I want. So go ahead, click outside, and then click Command Z. And what I want to do now is let's go ahead and remove, uncheck, and sh hold down Shift, and click on the blue bottom one of the path, which I don't want to, to select. And let's go ahead and bring these two guys to the center. I'll choose in my align option, align to artboard. And then let's bring my two guys to the center, align center. Okay, so now what I want is I want to add my inside rectangle. So I have the two guys in the middle. I want these three items because I want to align my guides and my inside rectangle. This is where this is what I need to do first. This is the way that I know how to distribute the left half of this artboard based on the inside rectangle uh, because the outside uh, the one centimeter around the outside of the middle of the inside rectangle is my space. It's called gutter space for my printer. I need to leave that blank. So, and we need to align to selection. And for example, because I want to align to horizontal align left, and I want to choose selection because the three items that I have selected are two guidelines and the inside perimeter and the far left of the three the, the, the far left is the the perimeter the inner, inner perimeter square so I want my two guys to from the left I want them to go to the left of the inner perimeter square so I'm going to click align to selection and then I'm going to click align, horizontal align left so there they are. It moves everything to the one, whichever path is the farthest to the left. So it moves everything to align there. So now from here, I want to align to select key object. Uh, because I want to distribute the, the left half of my inner perimeter square, so I want to divide this left half right here, as you can see from my arrow movement, I want to divide that into two equal sections. So I need to have my two guys along the left edge of my inner perimeter square. So after I do that, I need to align to key object. So from there, uh, it, it wants to choose one of my guys, I don't want that. I want to go ahead and first click, click out of the line panel and then click on the inner perimeter square so now it's got a dark blue mark showing that that is the key object okay so I have a line to key object so that's my key object and then from there I want to dis horizontal distribute center okay horizontal distribute center so if I click horizontal distribute center, no, nope, that's not what I want. So let's go back up to edit, edit, undo, align. The correct one is align to key object. So we want to click the inner perimeter, and then we want to align horizontal distribute left. No. Uh, horizontal distribute, horizontal distribute, right, horizontal. I did it a moment ago. Vertical, horizontal, align left. So we have key selection. No, align, align, select, align to selection. Okay, so I have all three. And horizontal distribute center. There we go. Alright, so let me show you again. Alright, so I have all three items selected. 
and I have the two guys along the left edge, the left far edge of the three of the three item that I selected. Okay, so from there I want to click on align to selection, and then I want to click on horizontal distribute center, and there it is. Now we have. the left half of the inner perimeter square is divided into two equal parts so now I want to add one more so I bring this one I bring in another guy so that guy with that guy selected I want to go ahead and bring in the alignment tool the alignment panel I want to align the middle to the artboard and we want to do a horizontal line center so there it is so I have three so now my board is divided into a half and then the left half has been divided into three to two equal parts so if I want to divide the left half or the right half of my inner square into two equal parts I can bring in one, two, two more guides, okay? And I want to go ahead and select the two guides. And I want to go ahead and open up the layer, layers panel. And I want to also hold down the shift key on the keyboard on my Mac. And I'm going to select, click on the circle that allows me to select the path for the inner square, okay? And we're gonna open up the align, and we're gonna click on align to selection, and then we're gonna click on horizontal distribute right. So, no, we don't want horizontal distribute right. I'm sorry, we want to align objects, align horizontal align right. Boom. Okay, so it brings both of the of the guys to the far right of the. Of, of the three that objects that I selected, the farthest one that's on the right, in the line all to there. Now with the align option to align to selection, okay, the three objects I selected, and then from there I want to go ahead and distribute horizontal distribute right. So of the three from the right, it's going to distribute horizontally. So we're going to click on that. Oh, wait. Horizontal distribute right. All three has been selected. Horizontal distribute center. That's what we want. Horizontal distribute center. So, okay. After you select the three objects, which for me here is the inner rectangle, the these two guys this one and that one okay so let's do it again I'm going to just drag my selection tool across these two guys alright and then I'm going to just bring them off the artboard so I can demonstrate so to show you that these two have been selected they're, they're blue at the left of the screen here, the blue, and I want to add my inner rectangle. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to select it on the layers panel, okay, by clicking on the circle box in the layers panel for the path that I want. So I have three blue objects, okay, three items selected, shown by the blue highlighting of the three objects on the screen okay as you can see here's the first guy here's my second guy here is my inner here is my inner rectangle so first I need to go ahead and make sure my align option is to selection and then I want to horizontal align horizontal align right click on that and it brings all of my guides to the right edge it brings it to the right edge uh, of the object that is in my three.
selected objects, whichever ones to the farthest right, it brings everything to that align that right there. So in my case, it brought my two guys to the far right, aligning it to the right edge of my inner rectangle. So from here, I want to distribute the right half of my inner rectangle, okay? So with that selected, align to selection. From here, I want to go ahead and horizontal distribute center. When I click that, as you can see, one of my guys stayed on the right edge of the inner rectangle and the other one moved to the center of the right half of my inner rectangle. So now I have my inner rectangle divided into one, two, three, four equal parts. So I could use and lock these guides. So I can, for example, if I wanted to make a, a brochure with four equal parts that I can fold along these lines. Okay. So here's how. That's how you divide. Uh, an artboard with an outer perimeter gutter of one centimeter in and divide that into four equal parts. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Ricky Lee and I'm going to make another one to help me remember how to divide this into three. Watch, watch how to align uh, your artboard divide into three equal parts in the next video.